Hi, I'm Linda. Welcome to Barlardi's Body Blitz Broomstick and Matte Abs. For today's workout, all you will need is some sort of broomstick, which is roughly the same height as you. You don't want it to be too short, and a mat if you're working out on hard floor. Okay, let's get straight into it. Come into a wide plie position with your feet turned out, your tummies pulled in, and you just come down. Put the broomstick across your shoulders comfortably. Just loosely drape your arms across it. Hold your tummy in, and we're just going to start twisting. It's a light twisting action, warming up through that waistline. You don't need to twist too hard as yet. We've got room to grow here, so just warming everything up. You want to keep your shoulders relaxed and away from your ears. Your back is really flat here as if you're up against a wall. And the further you come down in those legs, the more you're going to feel it. So if you want to burn some extra calories, then try to engage your legs throughout this workout. Keep going for a few more like this. As you get warmer, you can twist a bit further. Maybe even follow your gaze from side to side. But watch out, because it can make you dizzy. Go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, now stay in the center and we're just gonna start leaning side to side. Once again, it's not a really big motion yet. I want you to feel your body falling to the side. So don't lean forward and back here. I just want you to go side to side. And once again, as you get warmer, you can lean that little bit further. Side to side. Stay low in your legs. You might even want to sink a little bit lower now that you're warmer. Hold your tummy in really strong here. You need to squeeze your entire core side to side. Keep breathing all the way down for five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, now bring the stick in front of you and just hold it in the center. And we're going to do a similar side to side, but holding the stick in front this time. So this time I want you to think about rowing your elbow behind you. Okay, so the side that you're twisting to, that elbow, row behind you, and you're going to start feeling it in the upper back. The core is not just the six pack. The core is all of your front abs, as well as your back, even a bit of glutes, so sink lower into those legs. And keep breathing. Row behind, twist and twist. That stick will really help you to twist further, giving you a bit of momentum there. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now I want you to hinge forward at the waist, grab your stick a bit further out, and we're just gonna start twisting towards the ground. So bend your legs, send your glutes towards the back, and I want you to rotate through the waist. You'll get to the point where your stick is just about to hit the ground, and then you sweep back up. So your arms are really straight here, and you're trying to think about your back muscles, especially your lower and middle back, helping you with this rotation. Warming everything up. Keep going. Hold your tummy in strong. Think about wringing out your waistline. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. We're going to start doing some combinations. So put the stick back onto your shoulders in a comfortable position. We're going to twist for two, then bring a leg up in the center. One, two, straight leg up. One, two, up. Up. So you're bringing that leg in front and you're crunching in so that you're feeling your lower abs engaging at the same time as your obliques. Now you really don't need to lift that leg too high 
in order to feel that. It's a slow controlled movement. One, two, up, two, up. Keep your weight in the heels. One, two, up for four, up for three, up for two, up and last one. Now standing straight this time and we're going to tap down side to side with that stick. Trying to go a little bit lower this time. So our legs are straight and you're trying to get that stick almost down to meet your calf side to side. Remember here, you're not leaning forward or back. You're going directly to the side each time. Deep breaths in, side to side. Getting a little bit faster with that now, now that we're nice and warm. Down and down. Keep going, keep squeezing. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Now hands in front this time, slightly closer together. We're going to hinge forward and we're going to do that twisting motion again. And this time you're going to actually tap the mat every time. So twist, 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 twist. Hinge your glutes towards the back and keep your back flat. Your tummy's pulled in. Twist, twist. All the way. Try and extend your arms long. Really starting to feel that heating up in the waistline. Twisting. Use your arms dynamically here. Keep them nice and strong and straight. Twist, twist for four, three, two, one. Now coming back up, back behind, and we're going to do a combination. So I want single, single, double. Single, single, double. Down, down, down. Really bending low. Squeeze your glutes here. It will help to keep everything stable through the center. Single, single, double. Single, single, double. Keep going. Down, 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 down. Squeeze through the waist. Keep going. Fight for it. For four. And three. And two. Last one. Now we're coming up, we're doing the same thing through to the front. So once again, hinge forward, arms extended, single, single, double. Single, single, double. So as you do that double, really use your top arm to push back. Single, single, double. Single, single, double. Really twist. The more you twist, the more you're going to use all those tiny little muscles that run all the way along your spine. It's going to build some great core strength there. Single, single, double. Single, single, double. For eight, up. Seven, up. Six, five, four, three, two, and last one. Awesome job. Coming back into the center, you can come back into like a plie position. Our arms are going to be in front and we're going to start punching, okay? So I want you to rotate and punch in front. As if you're punching something, but having that stick there will help you to really keep your arms in alignment. You're rotating, pulling your elbow to the back each time. Get down low in those legs. Punch it, punch it. Breathing through it. We're going to do that same single, single double here. 
Just keep going for a few more singles. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now single, single punch. Single, single, double. Twist, twist, two. One, one, two. Really punch it out. Twist through that waist. Hold your belly button in really tight here. Don't let it slouch around. Your tight middle is going to help you really get into all of those supporting muscles. Middle, middle, out. Punch, punch, punch. Keep going. You're going to feel this tomorrow for eight and seven and six and five, four, three, two, and last one. Nice job. Put it back behind. We're going to stay low this time and we're going to come down in front. Okay, so coming down in front but keeping the chest a little bit higher this time. Down. If you can touch all the way down, that's good. Try to keep your chest up and you're trying to bend to the side with just a slight hinge forward. Okay, so hitting all of those muscles in a different angle, getting into every single little muscle fiber. Few more singles, and we're going single, single, double again. Keep breathing. Down and down. Down and down. Reach it. Keep your weight in your heels. You should be able to wiggle your toes here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now single, single, double. Single, single, double. A little bit slower here. Double, single, single, double. So you're not hinged as much as you were before. It's kind of in between. Double, single, single, double. All the way down. If you don't want to bend through the legs, you can come up here. Single, single, double. But if you want to engage your glutes as well, which are part of your core, stay low. Let's do a few more sets here. Four and three and two and last one. Nice job. Back in front. We're going to do a figure eight motion. I want you to push behind as if you're rowing. Okay, row behind. Row and row. So it's fluid through the waist. Row and row. Keep going. Pretend you're in a canoe and you're pushing that pole to the back. Arms are strong here. Keep going. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, nice job. Back behind your neck, we're going to do one more set of side to sides, standing up high. Tummies are pulled in and we're coming down and down and we're gonna do 50, okay? So adjust yourself, 50, then some pulses on each side, then we're down to the mat, okay? Arms strong, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, directly to the side, seven, eight, nine, ten, squeeze your glutes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, keep going, one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty, just ten, nine, 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now stay on this side, just 20. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And other side for twenty. Two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Nice job. We're down on the mat, so you don't need your stick anymore. We're going to come down. You can come all the way down. And we're focusing on long levers. So put your legs up in the air. And for now, I want you to just start bringing your toe down to your opposite knee. As you bring the toe down, I want you to move that leg slightly lower. So your legs are turned out here. Okay, so your kneecaps are at 45. And it's down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Try to make it graceful. The lower you go, the more you're going to feel this in your lower abs. Okay, so it's down, up, down, up. Keep going. You're going to feel a bit of hip flexor here as well. That's inevitable. Keep going for four, three, two, one. Now, bend this leg and we're going down, up, just with that one leg. Down, up, down, up. If you want to come up here, you can do that. Okay? That will engage your upper abs a little bit as well. And it will actually make it a little bit easier on the lower abs. So if you really want to focus on lower abs, then stay down here and keep breathing. You don't need to go as low as this. You can stay up higher if you're just starting out. If you want to keep your head up, you can and just put one hand behind. Go for four, three, two, one. Other leg and down, up, down, up. Turn your legs out. Keep breathing. Remember at the bottom here, you really need to push your belly button into the mat so you shouldn't have a arch in your back at all. If you're starting to arch, you need to come down a little bit less. So just go halfway. Down up, down up. Keep going. A few more like this. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come back to center. We're going to alternate now, okay? So we're going to come down up for two, one, two, come up, one, two, come up, one, two, come up, one, two. I want it fluid, come up, one, two, come up, one, two, come up. Keep going like this. Point your toes, long levers. Come up. Just do another four. And up. And three. And up. And two. And up. And one. And up. Now put this leg like here, and we're going to draw circles. And around. Keep that leg open. Your hips are turned out. If you want your hands under your glutes, it will help you to keep your back down and around, and around, and around. Big circles. Your knees turned out here. Around, and around. For four, three, two, one. Come back up. 
other leg in, same thing, circle it. It's together. You're going in this circle together with both sides. The bent leg is actually pushing a little bit on the straight leg, which means it's creating a little bit of extra resistance, especially on the lift. And around, and around. A few more like this, then we're going to switch it, two and two, four, three, two, one, come up, it's one, it's two, 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 come up, make this fluid, and two, it's one and two. It's one and two and one and two. Keep going. One and two, one and two. It's one. Let's do four more sets. That's four and up, three and up, two and up last one nice job bring your legs together we're going to do some circles with our legs extended if this is too hard then please do it with your legs bent it's a circle and it's an up it's a down and it's a round okay circle and up it's a down and it's a round down and up, down and around, around and up, down and around, around and up, down and around, around and up, down and around. Keep going. It's around and up, it's down and around, around and up, down and around. Keep going, you can do this. Tummy's in, round and up. Keep going for a few more. And up. Let's go for four. Do them round and up. And three. Around and up. And two. Around and up. And last one. Around and up. Nice job. Now we're going to slightly angle ourselves so that we're going to hit our obliques more. So come down. You can put your hand here if you like. We're going to put our top leg, put your other hand behind, and we're just going to start raising up. Knee to shoulder. Up. So you're going to feel it in this muffin top area here. It's up, up. Try and make it look effortless. I know it's quite tough, but you're tougher. Up and up, up and up. We're going to do a few more of these and then we're going to circle with the bottom leg and then we're going to combine it. Let's do three. Two, one, okay, now circle the bottom leg. You might need to come up on your elbow for this. Circle the bottom leg. Your knee's still coming in towards the shoulder. Circle it. Big circles. Circle, five, four, three, Two, one, now two straight, so it's one, two, circle for two. It's in, in, circle for two, big circles. It's in, in, don't slouch in your shoulder, keep breathing. It's in, in, circle it. 
Let's do four more sets. In, in, blow out all the air. In, in, big circle. Two more sets. In, in, last set. In, in, around and around. Nice job. We have to switch to the other side. So remember, starting off in that sideline position, you can put your head in your hands. We're going to bring that toe to the opposite knee. Other hand is behind and just start bringing that in. Okay, get your balance. You need to be back on the meaty part of the glute. You can't have your hips completely stacked here. It won't work. So up, up. Think shoulder to knee and knee to shoulder. Think squeeze in here, muffin top. Okay, use your back hand to help support you in this. Up, up. Squeeze your belly button into your spine. You want everything tight here. Up. Keep going. Doing these ones and the circles and then the combination. Let's do eight. Seven. Don't let your bottom leg touch all the way down. Five. Four. Three, two, one. Now we're going to circle it. Circle it. I'm going in clockwise direction. Doesn't really matter so much. The main thing I want you to do is to focus on drawing big circles. So if you want to come up on your elbow like this, you can. It's going to help with your balance and it will also help with range of motion. Just don't slouch into your shoulder. Around, around. Big motions. Keep going. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, now we're going to do two of each. It's one, it's two, it's one, and two. And again, it's in, and in, and circle, and circle. Keep going. It's in, and in, circle it, circle it, in, and in, circle, circle. And again, in, and in, circle, circle. We're going to do five more, okay? Circle, circle, four, and up, around, around, up, and up, around, around, two more, up, and up around, around. Nice job. Up and up, around, around, up, all the way, around, around. Nice job. One last thing before we stretch, okay? One last thing, I promise. Get back onto your back and extend your legs up and I want them wide, okay? Really wide. We're going to drop down, come up. Drop down and up. So you're going down wide, coming up wide, then together. Down wide, up wide together. Down wide, up wide together. We're going to add a reverse curl to this. So it's down wide, up. Down wide. Let's do three more like this and then we're adding in a reverse curl. Two, last one, so go down, it's up, push up, it's down, it's together, it's push up, 
it's wide, it's together, it's push up with your hips, it's wide, it's together, it's really try and use your hips here, not your arms. I know it's tempting to push into the mat like this and lever yourself up, but I want it to be a controlled motion. If you can't do this with legs extended, you can do it with your legs bent, okay? So you don't need to extend them. I just want you to go out with a bang and really get into those obliques by having your legs wide and your lower belly by pushing overhead. Okay, let's just do a few more like this. How about five more, okay? Just five. That's one. Out, up, two. Out, up, three. Out, up, four. Last one. Stay up, tiny pulses, tiny pulses. Up, 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 up. It's tiny. You're using your hips. You're not using any momentum. It's tiny, tiny ups, tiny ups. Keep going, legs are straight, toes are pointed. Up and up. Now, further apart with the legs. Further apart, home stretch. Up and up, up and up, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Legs into the chest, you're done. Just gonna stretch it out. I want both knees to the front. Try to keep your shoulders flat. And then roll to the back. Keep your shoulders on the mat. If you can't come all the way down with your knees, just go to your point where you can feel the stretch in your spine. Really feeling that. Now come back to the center, extend one leg and do the same thing again, but this time try and get that top leg down. And then back to center, extend the other leg and top leg down. And then we're just going to roll onto our front and up, extending through our arms, really feeling the stretch in the front of our abs. Come down. Hands a bit closer in, breathe out up, push up higher, and into child's pose. Then arms to the front and really push your armpit down to feel the stretch in the side body. And across, same thing. And just a few cat cows up and release it and up and release one more time up and release and then just sitting down you can sit cross-legged here we're just going to take our hands in front push away then overhead and to the side and to the other side and finally hands behind and pull up and that is it thanks so much for joining me hopefully you felt the burn like I did I'll see you at the next segment